let's say how do you create a trading strategy so in simple terms it will be just like get data from now you can either have like websites like google finance yahoo finance or even your broker for that matter this is an important part because data is what will make your strategy good or bad depending on how what the quality of data is now the next thing is the analysis right where you are actually doing the strategy part like creating a strategy back testing it and further paper trade or live trade for that matter so that comes in the analysis part and finally the execute trade where you are actually placing your order in the live markets so these are three things which you do i know this is a no simplification for you guys but when you try to have simple rules you can understand okay how well it is and how good you are doing so this is a simple way to create a trading strategy now depending on how you classify them uh, you can have various types of trading strategies so what i have done is i have like try to put them into buckets of four so initially uh, the simple actually not exactly very simple but we have trading strategies dependent on technical indicators now you can have technical indicators like moving averages or adx indicator which give you a value or for that matter roc a rate of change rsi or stochastic oscillator which give you a value between a certain range and tell you when the stock is oversold or overbought for that matter and depending on that you can take your trading decision and also you have bollinger bands i just kept this at the end because it's an interesting technical indicator and it makes use of certain statistical properties which will help you later on when you're creating more advanced strategies right like creating like using standard deviation for that matter so yeah this is a simple one technical indicators now when you go further and you think that okay i want to try something more uh, you want to create a mathematical model for that matter and try to have maths on your side and see that okay whether a strategy this idea is there but i want to know whether it works or not so you move towards quant or statistical quant trading strategies now they are mostly divided into two i know there are more but for the sake of simplicity i am just keeping them at two uh, you have the momentum trading strategy where you think that an asset is maybe it is trending it now when it comes to trending it can trend up or which means that the asset is increasing or it could trend down which means the asset price is decreasing either way it has momentum so you create a trading strategy based on capturing that momentum effect now this works in certain types of uh, market regimes uh, but you will find that the market will not always be trending there might be times where the market is stagnant for that matter so in that sense you will have a mean reversion strategy uh, where you will find that okay it moves up or down but it is to a certain level and it comes back to the mean so this is where you apply a mean reversion strategy and you can base it on it's not just equities you can try it on commodities as well you can try it on gold if you can and various other asset classes as well so these are the traditional quant trading strategies now moving further we have seen machine learning take the world by storm and it is everywhere including the trading domain so that is uh, it deserves a special place so it's on the third part machine learning based trading strategies now there are many but i'll just keep it down to two you can say that it could be a regression based machine learning strategy where you are trying to predict a continuous value for that matter or it could be a classification based trading strategy which means that you are you just have various classes and you're trying to 
predict which class that label comes in so that is the machine learning strategy now okay machine learning is not just regression and classification you might be thinking like what is this guy saying you are right actually like we have moved on to advanced trading strategies as well so we have sentiment based uh, trading strategies which use uh, maybe twitter data for that matter or even news headlines of major newspaper publications and you try to find out the sentiments on it uh for example you could take the case of apple for that matter you can uh, scan you, you have various uh, data providers which give you the news headlines and you can check whether apple is mentioned in it and you can try to see whether it is a positive sentiment or a negative sentiment and if it is positive you buy the stock and if it is negative you sell the stock 